Okay, so now we're going to do a pineapple. Thought I'd show you how to cut one. Just take the top off. Most people have done a pineapple before, but if you're, it's uncomfortable, sometimes you can buy pieces. But what I want to do today is we're going to grill it, put a little sauce on it, make a dessert out of it. I have two pineapples. One I'm going to cut the same way to start, and then I'm going to um, dice it up and we're going to make a pineapple salsa. So, I'm going to do the first one for the grill so we can get that going. So just take the top and the bottom off, go down the sides. There is a tool that does this. I don't own one. But there is a tool that you can use and it just slides down the peel, takes out the core, and then you just slice your rings. But that's a pretty simple process. Make sure you go deep enough to get some of these little knobs out because they're tough. They don't taste very good. Because we're going to grill it and we want it to be a, want it to be a dessert, I'm going to cut them about a half an inch thick. Too thin and they burn really quick, too thick, and they just don't make a good dessert. So, and then I just take a melon baller and kind of work your way around it, and that takes your core right out. So, we're going to do these, put them on here, throw them on the grill. Keep an eye on them, they will burn. And when we bring them back in, we'll finish them up. We're at the grill now, we're just gonna, it's pretty hot, so we're just gonna put these around. We've got the charcoal right in the center, so we're just gonna put them around, because we really don't want them to get done real quick. They're kind of thick, so we want them to get softened all the way through. Here we go. We'll come back in a few minutes and turn them around. Okay, so now uh, the pineapple is nice and soft. You can see how soft it is. It's got some great grill marks on it. This is why you cut it as thick as you do because it will tend to fall apart if you don't. All right, so I'm going to make some pineapple salsa. So I used the same cleaning method that I did with the ones that I grilled. This one I just diced up. And I diced up some red onions, which I'm also going to use for another dish. And some kiwi. I have a little sugar, some salt, some lime juice. Just going to put it together, give it a taste, to see what it tastes like. There's no real um, method to this, except when you put it together, you kind of give it a couple of tastes. If your onions are a little stronger, maybe add a little extra sugar. If your pineapple is not sweet enough, add in a little extra salt. Um, basically, the onions are there for color, a little bit of flavor. You don't want a lot of them. Kiwis are nice just because of the color. This is sugar. We're going to add just a sprinkling of sugar first to see what it's like. The pineapple was pretty sweet. The, ki the kiwis are pretty sweet. Uh, a little bit of salt. The salt actually brings out the sugar in the pineapple. We're going to put that all together, sprinkle in a little bit of lime juice, of course you can use fresh limes if you'd like. salt and a little extra lime juice. Pineapple's plenty of sweet and the kiwi's plenty of sweet so we're trying to make this more of a, so 
So if you could use this on fish, you can use it on chicken. It's just a nice accompaniment to put with things. Nice refreshing for summertime. One more taste of it. Serving companies when we use it on a different spoon. Awesome. So when you're plating something like this, you want to make sure that you mound it, don't flatten it out. Really the attraction is to see it kind of mound it up. Do that, and I have some fresh mint down in my garden. I'm just gonna plop some of that in there. It's ready for the table. Ta-da.